picture a traveller from another star system, older than our sun, drifting into our neighbourhood like a message in a bottle. That's 3 I Atlas, only the third confirmed interstellar visitor humanity has ever seen. It's faint, it's fast, and it's carrying chemical clues from a place we probably will never visit. If you want a front row seat to a cosmic drive-by that could rewrite how planets begin, this is it. Today we're unpacking the full story of 3 I Atlas how it was found, what makes it interstellar, and the timeline of its fly-through. What scientists are already learning about its chemistry, and why some researchers think objects like this might literally kickstart new worlds. We'll hit the inflection points, clear up a couple of myths, and keep the speculation clearly labelled. By the end you'll know exactly what 3A Atlas is, what it isn't, and why it matters far beyond a single streak on a telescope sensor. 3A Atlas was discovered on the 1st of July 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile part of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a NASA-funded project that watches for incoming hazards. Within hours, it looked odd enough to land on near-Earth object confirmation pages, and within a day, follow-ups suggested that we were dealing with something stranger than a routine comet. Imagine a very early morning at a high desert observatory. The air is cold, the Milky Way is in glittering river overhead, and the Atlas pipeline flags a faint moving smudge, where the night before, there was none. It's subtle, just enough pixels to whisper, look closer. Astronomers do, and history starts to slide into place. But faint smudges don't earn interstellar passports automatically. The next question was everything. What kind of path through space is this thing on? Over the next 24 to 48 hours, observatories from Chile to Hawaii to Arizona piled on. The object showed a hyperbolic orbit. Think of it like one way slingshot past the sun rather than a closed loop. That's the signature of an interstellar origin. On the 2nd of July 2025, the Minor Planet Center made it official. Designation 3I Atlas. The third interstellar object after one Oumuamua in 2017 and two Borisov in 2019. It also carries the standard comet name C2025N1 Atlas. A hyperbolic orbit means an object that isn't bound to our sun. Its trajectory curves inwards and then back out, never to return. Picture a chalkboard with two shapes. One is a cozy ellipse, that's a regular comet. The other is a sharp open curve that never closes. That's the hyperbola. 3i Atlas is the chalk that won't stay on the board. So it's interstellar. But where is it going? When is it at its closest? And can we see it? Backtracing its path suggests that 3i Atlas came from the direction of the galactic center region, inbound at tens of kilometers per second. It never gets especially close to Earth. Throughout 2025, it keeps its safe distance in the order of hundreds of millions of miles. Perihelion, the closest point to the Sun, comes in late October 2025, around October 20th to 30th. Well inside Mars's orbit, but far from any dramatic near-Sun dive. It's faint. Binoculars won't cut it. You'd need a decent amateur telescope, or a smart scope, with plate solving to tease it out. If you're imagining a neon sky writing comet, that's not the story. Think of a distant airliner at night. You can see the plane, only a glint off the fuselage when it hits the angle just right. 3i Atlas is that glint. Scientifically priceless, visually modest. In fact, one colour surprise set astronomers buzzing. Early images skewed reddish, consistent with dusty comets reflecting sunlight. Later observers reported distinct green glow around the coma, the fuzzy envelope of gas around the nucleus. On comets, this green typically comes from diatomic carbon, C2, emitting light when energized by sunlight. Here's the twist. Some spectra hinted at less usual carbon-bearing molecules than expected, raising the possibility of unusual chemistry or fresh materials exposed as 3i Atlas is warmed. During a September lunar eclipse, when the sky and background drops and observers get that extra bit of contrast, reports of a greenish tint popped like a traffic light in deep space. Unexpected, unmistakable. I'm begging for a lab test that we can't perform out there. Some fact versus theory though. Fact, green emission on comets is commonly tied to C2. Theory, if 3i Atlas is carbon poor in the usual variety, the green might come from a different parent compounds breaking down under sunlight, an interstellar recipe variant we haven't sampled before. The exact relative abundances are still being refined. As spectra accumulate around after the perihelion, color is one clue, size is another, and it's trickier than it sounds. Media estimates have ranged widely, 
from a few hundred meters to many kilometers across. Because measuring a comet's nucleus under a growing coma is notoriously hard. Remember, the brightness you see is the sunlight bouncing off the dust and gas, not the solid body itself. Early comparisons to 2i Borisov suggest that 3i Atlas could be larger, but those were provisional. It's like judging the size of a campfire by the light on the trees. A big smoky fire can look huge, even if the actual log isn't. Astronomers use thermal measurements and models to peel the glare away. But with a fast mover on a unique trajectory, the uncertainty stayed chunky. 3i Atlas has a visible coma and a short tail. It's comet-like, but not a dry rock like a Muamua. The nucleus diameter, likely somewhere in the sub-kilometer to a few kilometers range, needs more post-perihelion data to carefully model and nail down. Uncertainties aside, scientists aren't waiting around. Spacecraft across the solar system have turned their eyes towards our visitor. This isn't just a telescope party on Earth. The European Space Agency planned coordinated observations with missions at Mars and in the outer solar system. Mars orbiting aircraft can view 3 i Atlas from a different vantage point than Earth, and JUICE, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, has scheduled instrument time in November to catch the comet when it's most active after the perihelion. So why does that matter? Well, multiple perspectives help measure dust production, gas outflow speeds, and even the fine structure of the tail. Combine that with Earth-based measurements, and you can start to infer what ices are sublimating. Water, carbon dioxide, or more. Picture mission teams slipping a bonus guest observation into tight schedules. Rotating a billion pound spacecraft a few degrees to stare at a pinprick, because that pinprick carries chemical time capsules from another sun. All these measurements are means to a bigger end, understanding where stellar objects come from and how often they visit. The leading picture is that every planetary system ejects debris during its early chaotic years. Close encounters with giant planets fling comets into deep space. Most wander indefinitely. A tiny fraction pass through other systems, us included, with modern surveys getting deeper and faster. Three interstellar detections in eight years may signal the tip of an iceberg. Atlas finds many comets every year, but interstellar standouts require both the right geometry and quick follow-up. One eye Oumuamua was dry and weirdly shaped. Two eye Borisov was textbook icy. Three eye Atlas looks more like Borisov, a classic comet, but with chemistry that might not be quite solar system standard. Imagine the galaxy as a windy beach, and each star system throws a few grains of sand into the air during a storm. Most grains fall nowhere special. A few, very few, land in your open hand. Three eye Atlas is one of those grains. And here's the genuinely spicy part. What if those grains don't just pass through? What if they plant seeds? Some researchers argue that interstellar objects might act as seeds, inside disks of young stars. Planet formation has a bottleneck. Dust clumps grow, and before they get big enough, collisions grind them back down. A solid interstellar body dropping into that disk could serve as a nucleus that gas and pebbles can latch onto, jump-starting growth towards the planet. Each interstellar comet we study improves the stats. How common these bodies are, what they're made of, and how likely they'd stick around if they were plunged into a protoplanetary disk. If 3i Atlas turns out to be carbon light in the usual species, but rich in something else, that's a hint that the galactic seed stock isn't uniform. Some seeds may carry different chemistry than our own comets, with real consequences for the planets they help build. Picture a young star's disk as a foggy construction site. Pebbles swell, collisions sputter, then a sturdy visitor drops in, an interstellar rebar. Dust sticks to it, layer by layer, until the structure holds. It's an elegant shortcut through the bottleneck. Interstellar objects exist, and now we've seen three up close enough for study. Their capture as planet seeds is plausible. In simulations, especially around higher mass stars, evidence is circumstantial, but growing. We don't yet have direct observation of a captured interstellar object embedded in a forming disk. That would be a smoking gun. Some misconceptions around 3i Atlas. It's coming close, should we worry? No. All of the official ephemerides show very comfortable distances from Earth. This is a science opportunity, not a hazard. It will light up the night sky like a movie comet. Also no. Even at its brightest, 3i Atlas is a telescope target. Wonderful for astrophotographers, invisible to the naked eye. Oumuamua inspired wild ideas. Light sails, alien probes, because it was dry, small, and odd. 3i Atlas is less mysterious in shape, but more telling chemically. If you want, what would aliens send? That's still deep speculation. If you want, 
what alien solar systems eject, you're looking at it. Imagine the sensational headlines you've seen. Zoom them out until they're just one pixel. Then overlay real data curve, quiet, patient, and compelling. That's how science usually wins. So what's the bottom line of this whole interstellar encounter? Well, 3i Atlas is a once in a few years gift, a physical sample of another planetary system, delivered to our doorstep by gravity alone. Discovered on the 1st of July, 2025, confirmed interstellar on the 2nd of July, headed through perihelion around October 29th to 30th, it's being scrutinized from Earth, Mars, and even the outer solar system. The chemistry looks familiar in parts and intriguingly off script in others. Whether or not interstellar seeds truly help build planets, this object is already seeding ideas. And that's how revolutions in science began. So a question for you. If you could choose just one measurement from 3 i Atlas, composition, size, isotopes, which would you pick and why? Thanks for watching.